Hey guys, Axel Fireflurry here, and I'm here to bring you another rant. Cause I guess it's what my life has become. I kind of feel like an old person sitting around arguing and voicing my opinions on something I have little to nothing to do about, but feel as though I have to do it. Well, actually, I kind of do, because this is going to be a very educational video. This is going to be about the Donald Trump of the Pokemon community. You know him, you either love him, or you absolutely hate him. That's right, we're talking about Erlicify. Now, before you all think this entire video is going to be about me attacking or bashing Verlicify, well, no. Well, not exactly. The problem- the reason for this video is he's using a whole bunch of really big words all the time, and I don't feel like he really knows what those words actually mean like objective versus subjective and i don't think he knows that there are various types of evidence to support a claim or an accusation so today we're going to actually go over the various words that he uses all the time to sort of give you guys and maybe even give him an english lesson because apparently he doesn't english too well now, I know he at least has a high school diploma, and I guess on his Twitter it says that he got some form of college degree. I Oh, vocational degree. Now, not to insult anyone who has a vocational degree, but here's the problem. If you actually intend on improving your education, you're going to need a bit of a better college or you're going to have to have a better reference than a vocational college because vocational college is just you know like a two-year training program for being an electrician or a plumber or a cna for like two years and if you don't want to increase your educational life that's fine that's your life that's your decision but if you actually want to make real money in a real job, then I suggest, you know, improving your education so you're not stuck at Burger King or working at a minimum wage job for the rest of your life. Now, again, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I'm just kind of trying to deliver a reality check. Go to a real college, get an, a respectable degree. It doesn't even have to be in, like, a respectable field, just get a degree a degree you can actually hang on your wall well now that we've gotten that out of the way let's start talking about some of these more important definitions that Verlicify tends to not understand all right the first one is going to be analogical evidence while not the kind of evidence you'd use in court this is the kind of evidence that can be useful for increasing credibility by drawing parallels when there isn't enough information to prove something in a workplace investigation Analogical evidence uses a comparison of things that are similar to draw an analogy. Now, this isn't one of the words he uses all the time, but this is a form of evidence. The evidence he tries to use is concrete evidence. The problem is, is he never actually shows enough of the concrete evidence to support his claim. So, a lot of his videos where he's defending himself or trying to prove somebody else is wrong, can fall under analogical evidence. Why does it fall under analogical evidence? Because he's comparing. He's comparing his clickbait videos to another person's clickbait video and saying that, well, theirs is worse. Well, let's compare the two. While not actually comparing the two, it's sort of, a, okay, here's what he does, here's what I'm doing. There isn't enough to branch off of it, which is what other YouTubers do. He claims that he doesn't do clickbait videos. Well, what about the Pokemon Sun and Moon leak video where you had the water starter dolphin thing or how everything is OP? 
yeah, there's good and bad clickbait. The whole point of having clickbait, in my opinion, which you don't need concrete evidence to make your opinion validated, is the whole point of a clickbait video or a clickbait title is to get people in. When you're on YouTube, where your main source is having people watch your videos, you're going to want to do something that draws everyone's attention. In any field, that's what a sensible person would do. There's some hypocrisy there. We'll get to hypocrisy in a moment, but we're going to, excuse me, we're going to keep going over the different types of evidence, and he tries to present as concrete evidence and some of the words he tries to use all the time. So now that we've gone over analogical order, let's go with the next one. Ancidotal evidence. Let's read this really fast. Ancidotal evidence isn't used in court, but can sometimes be held in a workplace investigation to get a better picture of an issue. The biggest problem with this kind of evidence is that it's often cherry-picked to present only antidotes that support a particular conclusion. Consider it with skepticism and in, in combination with other more reliable kinds of evidence. This is probably his biggest form of evidence that he claims to be concrete evidence. He nitpicks and pulls out tiny tidbits of other people's YouTube videos and claims it to be just a jump. Well, you kind of just can't say that and prove it to be fact. You can argue and say, well, I had a bad voice or I had a hiccup or something. Well, here's sort of the thing. Since your only source of income is making YouTube videos and that's what you do most of the day, maybe you can re-record. Maybe you can do some better editing without having to jump to a different part of the video. But here's the biggest problem why I believe that this is his form of nitpicking. Well, not nitpicking, but his form of evidence pretending to be concrete is he kind of does. It's kind of like what I said before, and he considers it as fact. And it's it's in the wrong because it's not giving his viewers or anyone who's coming into the Pokemon community a wider idea on what's going on. Other YouTubers are doing it. They're giving the full spectrum of the video and the full spectrum of the situation. Do they all do it? No. But a lot of people kind of do, and that's kind of where his where he's kind of wrong with that is it's not concrete evidence, and you can't just say, oh, well, I skipped it because I had a hiccup or there was something wrong with my recording software. You can kind of re-record that. You have kind of all the time in the world, but you're going to notice like the two... It's just because I pulled this off of one of my old law websites, so just kind of ignore that. And let's hop into the next form of evidence. Circumstantial evidence, also known as indirect evidence. This type of evidence is used to infer something based on a series of facts separate from the fact of the argument is trying to prove. So it's pretty much saying, okay, here's the main situation, but here are a whole bunch of things that kind of have to do with this situation, but not enough to really tie the two together. So, here's my evidence. It is facts. It... Alright, so give me like one second to... Oh. It requires a deduction of facts from other facts that can be proven and while not considered to be strong evidence. So, again, it's... Okay, here are all these people genning and hacking and it's ruining the Pokemon community Here's all this evidence to support it, even though it's not really concrete evidence, but this... Here's how everything is tied together. I've cracked the code! And, well, no, that really wouldn't hold up in a court of law. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why is this so important? Why are you treating this like it's a court case? Well, Kind of because he's treating it like it's a court case. He's treating it like he's like it's in his courtroom and he's judge, jury, and executioner. Well, here's the defendant's side. You're the plaintiff, Verlissify. You're here making all these claims and all these accusations, but you're not actually doing anything to really support your case. You're cherry-picking to prove your point. And the problem is, is when you're having... 
is the jury and the jury you're allowing to have in your courtroom is your own fan base a proper jury needs to be people who have an unbiased opinion or have little to no knowledge about the case and then throughout the case both sides pr uh, promote their side of the story to get a big picture on the whole situation you on the other hand are giving your case to your jury that you pick, which isn't how the judicial system works in any way. The judge doesn't pick the jury or else, you know, a lot more innocent people would be put in prison or jail or whatever the case may be. And you're not allowing people who have various opinions. Now, back to the circumstantial evidence. It can be relevant in a workplace investigation. So let's say that's YouTube which has to be a different burden to prove than a criminal investigation. Well, yeah, that's kind of true because online or on YouTube, you can delete any video you don't want to be seen or you can have it hidden. So you can kind of pretend to play victim. A lot of the other YouTubers take down the drama videos because, well, they're just sick of making drama videos and don't want to bring any more attention to it. But you're claiming in previous videos that... They're taking down their videos because they're wrong and you're right. Well, no, there are many ways to look at this. Your way isn't the only way. There's more than one way to throw a Pokeball. So, we've gone over circumstantial evidence. So, let's go over just a couple more things before we wrap this up. The next thing is prima facie evidence, meaning on its first appearance. This evidence presented before a trial that is enough to prove something until it is successfully disproved or rebuted at trial. This is also called presumptive evidence. Well, this one's kind of iffy. I feel like to an extent he uses it because, yeah, he goes out and shows evidence. He, he's enough to show evidence that people do Pokégen in the Pokémon games. Yes, we all understand that you can't get a Love Ball Raichu in Gen 6. Yes, we know that. We understand. We understand that Porygon can't be in a Beast Ball. That's... we get that. We understand. We get that people hack in Gen. We get that. But the thing that you don't really do is you don't actually give every anyone a chance to, you know discredit or disprove you with some of the things again wolf glick love ball that was an unofficial tournament with a group of people who are okay with hacking and jenning everyone's okay with it in that meta everyone's okay with it in that format jenning and cheating is okay with them they're not ruining the game for anyone but you're presenting it as evidence that is inarguable and happens all the time and all over the place and you kind of need to give people a chance to, you know, look into the situation more, but you don't allow anyone to look into the situation. You either block them, you block them on Twitter, you block them on YouTube, you hide their comments, you delete their comments, just, to, you know, you cherry pick and then nobody has the ability to call you out on anything because you delete comments that can disprove you and discredit you and that's why i've gotten to the point where every time i see you like harass or insult somebody i kind of take a screenshot you have your own little folder on my computer congratulations you you've earned a folder on my on my laptop where i can disprove and discredit just about every claim you have why don't i do it because it's kind of not my place. It's the people you attacked's place. If they want to do something about it, let them do something about it. But I do have the evidence to disprove pretty much every claim that you have of people attacking you first, that Smogon has stole your girlfriend, uh, and just quite a few other things. I have evidence. Oh, and quick FYI, yeah, I was the guy who was sending out those screenshots that can kind of prove that you're okay with your friends pokey jenning. But now that we've covered the various types of evidence, we're going to go after, we're going to talk about a few kind of important definitions that I feel like our 
guy Velocify doesn't necessarily understand. Word, objective of a person or their judgment, not influenced by personal feelings or opinions considering a re and representing facts. So, um, he kind of says he has an objective view with, you know, his videos and when he's calling people out. Well, no, not really, because you call them names, you harass them, you say that they're ruining the community where not, where there's nothing to actually support your claim. These are all your personal feelings. You're not being objective. Objective would be like, okay, what I'm trying to be, I'm not trying to be anti-hacking or pro-hacking. I'm trying to say that yes, people hack. It's going to happen. If you hack, that's perfectly fine. Just don't take it into a tournament where people, where hacking isn't allowed. And if you are with a group of friends who don't know you hack, let them know that you hack. You, on the other hand, it's sort of a, all oh, these people, they're dumb and they don't deserve the views that they have. They don't deserve any of their subscribers. They're trash. They're trolls. They're garbage. They're the scum of the earth. They're toxic. Um, no, that's not being objective. That's kind of being the opposite of objective, actually. That's actually the next word we're going to be talking about, which is kind of what you're doing a lot more often. And that word is actually subjective, based or influenced by personal feelings, tastes, or opinions. You're way more subjective than you are objective. You call people cancerous. You call people toxic. Well, yes, I did call your behavior toxic and cancerous in my Has for Lucify Gone Toxic video, but it wasn't directed towards you as a person. It, okay, kind of directed you as a person, but more directed towards your personality. You're totally based on personal feelings, tastes, and opinions. You are way more subjective than you are objective. No one who's objective goes around and, you know, attacks anyone who can discredit them, disprove them in such a harmful, dangerous manner. Nobody goes on Twitter and calls people stupid or moronic or scum and says, oh yeah, I'm completely unbiased. I'm, I'm neither here nor there. I mean, I know you don't necessarily say that and we, you have admitted that you are definitely anti-hacking or anti-ingenning and you're more than welcome to be anti-hacking or jacking or Jenny, just don't say that you're objective as to how you make these videos or to how you make these videos attacking these other YouTubers or these other people in the Pokemon community because that's not what you're doing. You're doing the subjective and it's it, you make no sense. You're kind of weird and I do feel like you may need to pick up an English book or a dictionary because using the, you weren't even using the Merriam-Webster for like the first part of your definitions. I can't even remember what video it was in, but it was like, I wanna say it was like street dictionary or some slang or whatever, but it wasn't like the actual definition. Go to Merriam-Webster and you don't challenge the dictionary. They know the definition. Apparently you don't. Sorry, I'm getting kind of flustered. Okay, so let's go over a few more words. Oh boy. Hypocrisy. Now, the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform or pretends. So, you saying you're trying to be civil, but you make all these videos attacking all these different YouTubers. You make all these tweets calling people scum and morons and trolls. You say you're trying to bring the community together, but you're not telling your fans who are attacking these Pokatubers to stop it. You claim that you're the voice of the Pokemon community, but 
everyone considers you a joke. We Google image you and most of it's people ranting about you and your hypocrisy. Your Twitter says you're a professional Pokemon master, but you've never gone to a major tournament. And the major tournaments you've gone to, you didn't do too well. So that kind of makes you a liar too. So, oh, here's another one. People make clickbaity videos just to get views, but you make clickbaity title titles too for your videos, but it's okay for you to do it, but not for them. You tell people that it's scummy to add a whole bunch of ads in their videos, but you'll have five or six ads in a 10 to 15 minute video. You're being a hypocrite! This is hypocrisy in its finest form. Don't be running around telling people scum and that they're doing scummy things when you're doing the exact same thing. Holy freaking bananas! You make no sense. Okay, okay. We're done with hypocrisy. Let's go over just one or two more words, shall we? Let's go. This one's gonna be a real quickie. A bully. Let's go with the noun. A person who uses strength or power to harm or intimidate those who are weaker. Verb. The use of superior strength or influence to intimidate someone typically to force him or her to do what one wants. Why am I bringing a bully? Well, you're kind of a bully, okay? Let's just go with the noun. Um, you have power over your subscribers and they're running around calling people scum and trash and you're kind of not doing anything to stop that. You're kind of feeding it and you're going out and making these unprovable videos insulting or harassing people. There are various types of bullying. Trust me, I teach anti-bullying at schools three times a month all over my state. I know what I'm talking about when I see a bully. You're a bully. Are people bullying you? No, they're not. Okay, to an extent, yes. But here's the thing, you shot the first fire. You shot the first bullet. Everything that's after that is defense. And one of you is going to have to stop claiming victim. And guess what? The rest of the Pokemon community stopped making videos about you. Everyone you've attacked just says, okay, he's a joke. We've said our piece. We're done. You, on the other hand, you're still doing it. You're still attacking v the VGC champion. You're still attacking VGC players. Holy freaking crap. Don't say anyone's a bully because no one has made... No one that you've attacked has made videos about you. Yeah, other people like me are making videos about you, but that's kind of because you're kind of a moron and kind of need to be stopped with this whole bullying thing. Integrity. Now, the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles and moral uprightness. The state of being whole and undivided. You're definitely lacking integrity. I don't feel like you have integrity at all because somebody with high moral values wouldn't run around and call people scum, call them toxic, call them cancerous, would make tons of videos attacking somebody who has never talked to you, who has never ever provoked you in any way, shape, or form, yet because you dislike them and you don't like how they do things, you make videos on them. Yes, that is your First Amendment right. You have every right to do that, but you don't have the right to say that you have integrity or that you're doing what's best for the community. No, you're doing what's best for you and for your own personal agenda. This isn't about hacking versus anti-hacking. This is about you making other people look bad to make you look good. Why? For revenue. And yes, you can say that, oh, well, this is my job. This is what I'm doing for a living. Of course I want to make money. And yes, you're allowed to make money. 
but at the cost of trying to make people look bad and insult them and to turn the Pokemon community against each other? That's low, that's no moral. There is no moral. I'd rather hang out with a hacker or a Jenner who is a decent human being than hang out with somebody who's against hacking, who is an asshole, who has no integrity, whose whole point is to divide the Pokemon community. And you can say, oh, well, I'm trying to bring everybody under the non-genning flag. Well, here's the thing, you're gonna find people who gen. You're Hitler! You're Hitler! I can't believe I'm saying this! Anyone who doesn't agree with you, you're willing to burn at the stake. You want them to die. You want them to fall off the face of the earth. Maybe not die in, like, the physical sense, but holy cow. Okay, okay. We're gonna cover up one more word. I was gonna cover this at the beginning, and then I'm gonna wrap things up after that. So the next word is evidence the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid you claim to have all this evidence but what i've mentioned earlier in this video isn't a whole lot of concrete evidence or enough evidence to support your vow your claims or your proposition there isn't enough evidence to say that the hacking community is ruining the Pokemon community as a whole. It may be ruining the, com the play experience for people who are against hacking, but that's on the individual player and not the community as a whole. Your evidence is nitpicky, it's selective, it's emotion-based, there isn't enough to hold any form of valuable or real argument. I'm sorry. You really don't. And I do have to apologize because I tried to keep this unbiased and level-headed throughout the video. And yes, I faltered. Holy cow, I'm human. Humans mess up. Humans make mistakes. You make mistakes. You're making a lot of mistakes. But that's really all I have to say about the evidence. So I'm just going to wrap this up really fast and say just, guys, I honestly really don't like making rant videos. I don't actually like making videos calling out for Lissify. I don't like it. And now your argument is, well, why do you do it? Well, the answer to that is fairly simple in my opinion. He's going unchecked. No one is stepping up. Yes, people are stepping up slowly and surely, but he needs to, for lack of a better term, and not because he is a furry, be put on a leash. Somebody needs to step in and say, hey, this isn't okay. Somebody needs to tell him, no, this is inappropriate conduct. This is not allowed it's maybe allowed on youtube but it isn't it isn't good it isn't healthy for anyone and in my opinion with his act on attacking people in my opinion that's what's ruining the pokemon community i hold pokemon near and dear to my heart pokemon is something special to me and when i see somebody who's tainting the amazingness of pokemon with their own nasty agenda for the sake of views and for the sake of money that upsets me leading people who are trying to get into the pokemon community into a false way of thinking i'm not okay with that i find it inappropriate i find it harmful and i find his actions to be toxic the unfortunate thing about the situation is at one point he did apologize for being the way he is but the problem is he took down the video so no one can watch it and he's continued this unhealthy inappropriate childish behavior why is this why am, is he such a big deal and why am i comparing him to donald trump 
Well, they both have the superiority complex. They both feel like everything they do is right. I'll openly admit, I am not pro-Trump. I wasn't pro-Hillary pro -Hillary either, but at least with her, she was a predictable evil. Trump isn't. So is Verlissify. Verlissify isn't a predictable evil with his content on attacking other YouTubers. His strat videos, those are harmful, but not anywhere near as harmful as discrediting and ruining the hard-earned views and subscribers that other YouTubers have. Somebody needs to stand up to him. Guys, if you want to be in my absolute final Verlicify video, send follow me send me a message on Twitter, leave something in the comment videos because I feel like if enough YouTubers who are not okay with his behavior come together at one time and if we show the same video on let's say I work with five other people so if six people share the same video through their different YouTube channels more people are going to see it and more people are going to understand that his behavior is okay and maybe eventually he will learn that his behavior is not all right that his actions are not okay that he needs to really sit down and reevaluate that arguably he's a decent pokemon player depending on who you ask but as a human being which is far more important than being a pokemon player he's lacking he's not a decent human being he's not a good person he's unhealthy that's why i feel like his girlfriend left him because he was obsessing over proving the smogon community wrong and proving that he was a better pokemon player a normal human being would see that and like, okay, you're unhealthy, this is unhealthy for me, I'm unhappy, I'm leaving. So guys, thank you for listening to me rant for over a half an hour. I'm, again, sorry about my Pokemon Randomizer Let's Play. And, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in a future video. Hopefully something a bit more cheery, and I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you guys next time.